Alright, looks like we found our spot for the night. We come back to the mug, we're gonna pack it up, make sure it's nice and level. Alright. Nice and sheltered. Very. <laughs> it's off the ground now. <laughs> it looks huge. You look so small in comparison. <laughs> oh. I've got a big truck. <laughs> we got some bar oil for our fancy new electric chainsaw. So this is a Makita one and it runs on our two you know, 18 volt batteries. We've already got a grinder, a drill and our electric vacuum cleaner that we use inside the camper. So it's good to have the same appliances that run on the same two batteries that we can charge them in our charging cabinet. But I haven't used one of these before, so um, give it a whirl. Very cool. Look at that, and it's so light. Not dirty. Batteries just, just come straight out. And all it needed was some bar oil, which we now have. Very cool. And it's got a lock. Huh, neat. More corrugations. So dropping tire pressure using the end of flight to balance both of them. So two at a time. And we'll be on our way. So back we're running 55 and front we're running 50 at the moment. Can always go lower but then it takes a long time to pump them back up. <laughs> what do you think of the new Leveling block. Yeah, I don't think that they're a uh, long-term use top of the line. <laughs> yeah, but they worked. They worked. Yeah. Corrugation went not too bad actually to come here. We found a nice little spot between some trees. I'm gonna go for a little beach walk to see if there's potential sparing spots for Chris, but the wind's picking up again. Uh -huh. Let's do it. What a beautiful bay. That must be the rock. Oh, yeah. Wow. What a lizard. Man, you're cool. Awesome monitor. Big abalone. Look at that. They're there. Such a beautiful color. So beautiful. Mm. Really we nice. tried abalone actually for the first time last week with Salty Devonport. He made a, like a little taste and that was actually delicious. I would have not thought I would actually really enjoy it like really that. Good. Like I said for me it was like a mix between like that oyster mushroom and squid, this less fishy. Nice. Yeah. Super tasty. Like so. a meat more than a uh, shellfish kind yeah. of. Yeah. Because now it's way too windy for Chris to go for a spare, but hopefully in hopefully. the coming days when the wind dies down, maybe then a baloney. Yes. That would be cool. That would be really good. That is huge. So, but there. If I can find some of those, I'll be happy. What do you have there? Yeah. Have a lonely fisherman! Look at that! Wow! Look at you go! Got a bunch! 
What did you? How did you catch it with the butt opener? With my car builder's bottle opener. <laughs> Started using the key and I almost broke it. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so I'll show you how to get them. We're gonna spot one first. Here's one here. Oh wow! This so camouflage. Nope, there's more. So I've already tried to get a couple of those ones. That'll be why they're suction on. Are they scared? Yeah, they grip as a defense mechanism. Here's one. Looks quite small. <laughs> no good. That's dedication right there. Oh no, you probably can't. There's another one here. Oh, they're as well. moving. <laughs> Hello. So how are we gonna transport them? I don't really know. We need to find something. Are you okay? Oh, they are strong. What was that? They are so strong. Man. <laughs> My fingers are taking out hammer. Alright. 16. Alright. Okay, so these are called rose abalone. Now you're allowed 20 per day per person with a license, which I have. And that is in the south region. You're allowed 20, normally it's 15 in the rest of WA. Now, uh, yeah, type of abalone, uh, also called a pawa in New Zealand. So it's a shellfish. They taste really good when cooked properly, uh, but you'll see you've got to beat them uh, because it is thick, dense muscle. You've got to soften it all up. Now these ones must be 60 millimeters or larger, which they all are because I've measured them all. <clears throat> so, Need something blunt to scoop the actual mollusk out of its shell, which is a bit of a grisly task. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now on it you've got gonads as well as the guts that we need to remove. Spicy. Yep. It's normally meant to use a wooden mallet. I've only got a hammer. <laughs> oh no. Where did he go? Oh yeah. Nice. And you're done. Finally, it's only been about an hour. <laughs> so we've frozen a few of them. The gentleman next door heard me whacking away with my silly little hammer and he brought over a proper mallet. So that made life a lot easier. <laughs> that is what we're working with here. 
a nice abalone meat. I'm just chopping some garlic. I've put some olive oil in there. Got a little bit of lemon juice. We'll fry them up and uh, have lunch. Yay! So good. Fresh from the sea. Good morning again. It is 5.30 a.m. and I'm on another photography mission. So I'm heading down to a very cool geological formation that I haven't seen before. So I'll show you that when I get here. Good morning. So a little photography mission. Chris is behind me with the tripod and the camera and I followed behind with coffee. So I pour some water. Put our coffee cup and we've got the gum strip filters. So so handy. Coffee time. So I got my photo, but I think I was a little bit too lazy this morning and probably should have got up about 30 minutes earlier. So there was no great colour in the sky, unfortunately, but that's my fault. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what I took a photo of, which I found really interesting and I've never actually seen before, especially out in the water. Check this out. Look at these. So GoPro probably doesn't do it justice how big these are. The big slabs of quartz crystal. So big one here, and then they jut out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right out in a line. Never seen that before. There's also a couple behind me as well. The one behind me is a bit more pink. I'm not sure what created that, but that's, um, looks amazing. Oh, crab has found his way home. <laughs> but yeah, just beautiful. If I got a little bit of pink light, I think that would have um, really set these off. But that's okay.
out to this point out here, about a kilometer from camp. Um, took the photos, went back, just had a very small breakfast and have now come back out here. Um, I don't normally do it, well I've never done it before actually. I'm bringing a dry bag with me with a screwdriver in it. So if I catch some, uh, or if I find some big abalone, some brown or green lip, uh, I can pry them off with the screwdriver, chuck them in the dry bag. Wind is really picking up already. But I'm going to go out there where it's getting a bit rougher and see what I can find. I'm going to bring my gun with me in case there's a squid or something there as well. So yeah, wish us luck. cleaned up the big blue so big groper I've tied a rope around its uh, mouth and I'll carry it on my back because I've got about a kilometer to hike back to camp and I'll fill it in there I've gutted it cleaned it removed the gills so that it's all bled um, so that the blood doesn't taint the flesh and time for the long hike back freezer okay so it's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon and I've got a hankering for lighting up this fire pit in our campsite finally we're allowed fires we have been carrying around these Jarra offcuts off our little lounge room uh, table or dining room table if you could now we've been keeping that in our old trash room that you'd remember from the Jeep days if you've been around that long. So I've got a bunch of offcuts. I'm just chopping it up now and uh, I'm gonna light a fire.
or as a Chris in the background is in charge of the fire. Me, I'm at the cooking station here. We'll be using gas tonight. So we've got the blue cropper that we're gonna crumb. We've got some leftover, I guess, from the fridge for the sides. We've got a bit of brown rice, quinoa, lentils, rice, capsicum. I'm gonna chuck some tomato paste, onions, spices, just to make like a nice, I guess, spicy rice. And yeah, we're gonna have dinner by the fire, so that would be very nice. It's been so long, we haven't had a fire that we're allowed to replace finally, so that's really nice. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Going on a little hike along the coast to a private little beach. Mm. Aren't we, Ange? What we love to do. Look at that. Such a nice day. Today's kind of our chores day back in town. So, uh, you know, done the water and um, gotten groceries, gonna dump our rubbish. Do a little bit of editing tonight. I'll call my mum. Yeah, and then tomorrow we're going to head off first thing in the morning, quite a bit further away than we were last time. So we needed some serious groceries. And, um, and diesel, you forgot the most important part. <laughs> and diesel, how could I forget? Which is kind of expensive at the moment. We averaged 30 litres per hundred in that last excursion which is pretty eye-watering uh, but we were very low tire pressure and uh, it was off-road and very slow stuff so relatively expected we also notice when there's lots of stop starts uh, that's when the fuel consumption really goes up over short distances the average so um yeah we'll uh check out this beach and that's about the hardest thing we're going to do today <laughs> update this is so nice we've decided to spend tomorrow here i'll bring my sparing gear and go for a bit of a mission here off the rocks because it just looks stunning tomorrow is meant to be 38 degrees here but 46 degrees in perth so um yeah feel for you guys in perth that's crazy hot and then it cools right down so what we'll do is we'll spend the day here tomorrow, which is relatively close to a town. And um, we've got free, kind of free camping tonight as well. And then tomorrow night too, which is handy. So um, we'll do that. We'll come back to this beach tomorrow. And um, then we'll move on the next day and do that excursion that we want to do. And that'll actually get us better weather on the other coastline, which is where we want to go.
And this is how we conclude this episode on top of a really nice peak with an amazing view. Hopefully a really nice sunset too. We love this hike. It's like the third time we do it. This is literally the third time we've done this <laughs> hike in about three days. Yeah, but yeah, it's such an amazing spot. So we hope you like this episode. A lot of like spare fishing, beautiful scenery. There will be more to come in next week's episode. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Thanks so much, guys. Hit that sub button if you're enjoying the content and uh, liking it that we're now on the road enjoying the Unimog. We'll see you next week.